Today's seed starting! I'm really excited because I'm just so looking forward to having a bountiful floral garden. Fingers crossed. I have already semi started, but we've been so busy with the co, not all of the seedlings survived. So this is round two. I've started storing my seeds in a binder with little recipe card pouches. I have a veggie section, a herb section, and then I've also got all of my florals and I organize my florals by height because I find that's really helpful when you're planning your garden. So basically what I'm doing today is I'm taking anybody who actually did well and I'm gonna put them into a little bit of a bigger space, give them some food and keep them going. These are gonna be sweet pea flowers. And anyone like this, one little forget me not that germinated and then I forgot her we're going to reseed anything that didn't do well in these little like compostable containers in my seed sprouting trays because I'm just thinking it's gonna maintain better humidity and stuff it's really dry where I live I think a big part of this was that I was trying to keep everybody moist definitely there were days in between where guys dried out so we're gonna try to fix it for those of you who have not previously met her, this is my dirt bin. Basically, every year I add in whatever amendments I need. I top her up with some fresh soil. We add in compost as well as pest treatments, okay? If you are going to keep a multi-year dirt bin like I have been, you do need to occasionally treat it for pests. We are not about the fungus gnat apocalypse up in here, so. I recently treated my dirt to make sure that it's good to go. I also like to pre-moisten my soil just because that way we know everything's going to be in nice, moist, treated, happy soil. That's everyone. I'm going to take a handy dandy stick. I'm going to poke and then I'm going to seed. And then we'll see how it goes. Now we wait. I'm going to transfer some of the little guys I already germinated into bigger containers so they can keep growing. And hopefully these new guys will germinate and we'll have lots of flowers to get into the garden. Fast forward a couple of weeks and we have plentiful sproutlings.